And now Russia's invasion of Ukraine earlier this year and sanctions that followed have triggered a downfall for European currency, Euro. Now the Euro has dropped to a new low. It is dropping from the last many, many days. Now Euro and dollar have reached parity almost there for the first time in 20 years. It means, well, one Euro equals to one dollar. In recent weeks, European market assumptions have been signaling that economy has been heading towards a deep recession there. The euro has experienced a dramatic loss of value since February this year when it was worth over $1.13 trillion. Now the fall accelerated in recent weeks over fears that Russia, EU's main energy provider, was going to completely cut off gas flows in retaliation to Western sanctions. So far, 12 EU countries have seen total or partial reduction in Russian gas and supplies from the Nord Stream 1 pipeline have been halted already. The Kremlin says it is under maintenance, but Europe fears an extended suspension. Now let's take a look at some of the consequences of Euro's fall to dollar parity. Well, first, it will have an effect on inflation and purchasing power. Nearly half of all goods imported in Eurozone are invoiced in dollars, including oil and gas. It will now be more expensive. Euros are needed to pay now more for an equivalent amount of goods in dollars. Euro-dollar parity will also affect businesses, especially the ones reliant on foreign trade and energy. Companies that export outside the euro area will benefit out of this because their prices become more competitive when converted to dollars. Now it includes export-oriented manufacturing sectors such as aerospace, automobiles, luxury goods and chemical industries. Import-oriented businesses, however, are at a disadvantage. A euro's fall will also impact growth. Fall in euro makes prices outside single currency area more competitive. It provides a boost to export of European goods abroad. But this can be mitigated by rising prices of commodities in the wake of the war. And by fueling inflation, Euro's fall could push European Central Bank to raise interest rates more rapidly. It's a cause of concern now. It is preparing to tighten borrowing costs for first time in 11 years this month. Russia's invasion of Ukraine has turned the tables. It continues to take a heavy toll on European economy and for now Brussels has not made any clear-cut projections about an imminent recession. It is still hopeful Eurozone can be resilient to weather disruptions from the war. An energy crisis it follows will be there. However, Euro for now is under the spotlight. Whether it ends up falling below American dollar remains to be seen. Last time this happened was in November of 2002, two decades ago when Euro was worth $0.99. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.